Now let me break you off on a little knowledge, my brothers and sisters. You see hemp and the good old U.S. of A? <laughs> they go way back. We're talking men in wigs. We're talking the 1600s, when it was illegal to not grow hemp in a bunch of different colonies. I'm talking mid-1600s when money, dinero, cold hard cash, was being made out of hemp. Bro, even the first drafts of the Declaration of Independence were written on this stuff. Oh, and those same founding fathers? Yards full of hemp, boy. Honest Abe, hemp oil in his lamps. Levi Strauss? slid them on over his boots. So what went wrong? The 30s went wrong. Big oil, textile, and paper corporations were terrified of the super plant. Just like today, though, politicians were in the corporate executive's back pocket. America tied hemp to marijuana, and everyone caught a case of that reefer madness. Well, almost everyone. Henry Ford was still using hemp for one of his rides. When World War II came around, Hitler and his buddies tried to take over the world. So the U.S. enlisted hemp for its gear. After giving them an old-fashioned beatdown, the U.S. stabbed its buddy in the back and threw hemp in jail again. In the 70s, everyone got their groove back and hemp was back in action. A government report under Nixon even showed the U.S.'s cannabis laws were nuts. So, what's next? Well, recently the U.S. passed a bill to allow about 10 states to produce hemp, but only for research. Which is a decent start, but we gotta go further. So America, stop being such a tease about hemp, and commit already.